If you sat the UCAT this year, you may have seen that the results recently came out. So in this video, we're gonna talk through what they mean and how they're going to affect your application to medicine or dentistry. So as you may have noted, these are interim results. So what they do is kind of after the halfway point of September where they've got most of the people who have sat the exam, they then do an analysis of what the results are like so far, looking at averages, deciles, all the section breakdowns to give you a rough idea of what results are like. Now, these are just interim results they are not the final results there are two weeks left of the UCAT window which will affect the final results and generally what happens is they release these results now so that the early birds and the people who are doing their UCAS application and want to submit it can get a bit of a flavor for how they've done the thing to be aware of is that usually the final results will come after the testing window has finished at the end of September however this year the UCAS window the application window closes on the 16th of October so they will Will, and typically every year they do release them with a bit of time enough to uh, have a look before the window closes but again it is leaving very little time between it and I say typically sometimes they might not necessarily release them in time. So these results that I'm about to give you are for the people who have taken the exam up to the 15th of September. So at the moment it's 20,334 for this year who have sat the UCAT test during that window. Historically every single year the interim results have been higher than the final results. So what I'm about to show you don't worry too much about because generally the average total score for section one drops by about 50 points. And if you look at this video from the results that I did last year, you will see that that's exactly what happened and happens year on year. Now you can never guarantee anything, but normally, the people who are sitting the UCAT towards the end, not everybody, but a lot of people who maybe were struggling or weren't getting the scores they wanted, delayed their UCAT as much as they can towards the end of the window. And generally, those are the people who aren't scoring as highly. So in the last few weeks, maybe people are getting lower scores that brings the average down. As an example, last year in 2022, the average first four sections total score was originally 2,554 and then so that's for the interim results and then the final results that dropped down to 2,500 average score. Now for 2023, this year's preliminary results, the first four section total mean score is currently 2,568. So like I say, again drops usually by about 50 points, so maybe 2,518 is roughly where you can expect it to land when we get the final results. Now here is the first four section per section breakdown. You can see again for a second year running, abstract reasoning has overtaken quantitative reasoning. Again, these are preliminary, so they might change, but it's just interesting to see. And the verbal reasoning seems slightly higher this year than it typically ends up being. Now here are the preliminary decile rankings. You will see to be in the top decile, you need to clear 2,940, which again is slightly inflated, but again will probably come down so don't worry too much about that. In the last year to be in the top decile you had to clear 2,880 combined first four section scores. So again when the averages come down we'll see it'll probably be in that region. The preliminary SJT bands show that 67% so two-thirds of people are currently in the top two bands and now I'm going to show you how this compares to what the final scores were for the last five years so here is the per section breakdown and the average per section for the last five years and you'll see that the overall mean score has never fluctuated really that far either side of 2500 like I say this year I predict that it will probably be about 10 to 20 points so between 2510 and 2520 is the average you'll also see that the UCAT number of test takers has gone up. This year they anticipate that another 16,000 people are going to take the test beyond the point of which they release these interim results. So again, we're looking at about 36,000 test takers. Then if we have a look at the deciles, to be in the top decile, I predict that we'll have a new record high. So last year was a record high of 2,880. I reckon it'll probably be in the 2,890 region, let's see. But I think that it will probably be at least a similar level or if not slightly higher. And finally, looking at the historical data for the SJT, we can see over the last five years that the people in the top two bands, so bands one and two, are usually in the 50 to 65% range. Like we showed earlier, at this current point with the interim results, it's about 67, so two thirds are in either band one or two. But 
Again, this will probably go down. I predict it will probably be in the kind of 60-ish range. So these are all factors that will play into how you use your UCAT score to help you choose the right medical schools that are tactical for the best chances of getting in. I have an entire video that you can look at for how to choose your medical school and how to think about these things. Also on the website, I have a very simple and easy to digest infographic, which gives you a breakdown of all the universities, what they favor, does UCAT matter? How much does it matter? Is it high importance? medium importance or low, how much does the personal statement matter, all of those things so you can use your UCAT score to help you work out whether it's a university you should apply to. If you didn't do great in the UCAT and you want to start thinking about preparing to smash it next year, every year on our one-on-one -on -one coaching program we take people who have had two or three years of applying and maybe got a 2300, 2400 and every year we take people from that sort of range to the 3000 plus which as you've seen is way beyond the top decile. So if you'd like to find out more about that you can check out this video here. Otherwise I wish you the best of luck with your application. Check out a lot of the videos that have recently been released on the channel to stay up to date with how to really maximize your application this year. But best of luck and I'll see you hopefully in one of those videos.